So the land and the water took their place on the earth and the air above. And the sun smiled down <clears throat> upon her beautiful planet. But then we all remember there was some trouble. Because on that beautiful planet, as it was cooling down, there were still hot things inside. As the Earth got a crust, it was raining and raining and there was so much rain inside and there was still some explosions inside. We still had some volcanoes, but gradually, with all the rain that came, we found that the harmony that had been on Earth was disturbed as the oceans were getting filled with a lot of dirt and rocks and salts and all. And then we found how to balance out that disturbance on Earth, how God put a little drop of jelly in the water and gradually that first little bit of life expanded and went into different kinds of life and got more and more complex. The imbalance that had been there got taken care of. The earth was back in balance. And we had life. Many different kinds of life were formed on the earth. Some, some of the life lived on the land. Some lived in the water and some lived in the air. And there were some kinds of life that were very tiny and small. Some that were huge and big and like the dinosaurs and when some of them walked, how the earth shook. The earth was covered with a variety of plants and it was home to a great many animals. And this continued on for so long. We finally got the mammals and the earth was ready. The earth was ready for the coming of a new kind of animal. Human beings. And those human beings would not have been able to survive if they would have come onto earth earlier at those different times. When that black strip was unrolled, we saw how long, how long, how long it took until human beings came. That black strip, which is about a hundred feet long, it wasn't until at the very end there was that little, little strip that shows what a short period of time it's been on Earth for human beings. Well, the story today is about you guys. It's about human beings. It's a story about boys and girls, women and men. And we're going to talk and think about what it is that makes us special, what it is that makes us different. I mean, what is it that makes us so different from all the animals that came before? Well, it's not just the shape of our bodies. It's not just that our bodies are different or our heads are a different size. It's not just that we have hands that can pick things up. But it's more about our minds and our hearts. We all have the ability to think, don't we? Yeah. Everybody here is thinking. Now right now you might be thinking about I wonder what Mr. Page is going to say next. Or you might be thinking about Oh, that breakfast I had was good. Or you might be thinking about after school, 
I'm going to a soccer class, or so many different kinds of, of things that you could be thinking. And a mind that can think is a wonderful, wonderful thing to have. And that's one of the things that's special about human beings. You know, the first human beings were able to watch the sun come up in the morning just like you do. They could feel the sun's warmth. <clears throat> and they could also wonder, hmm, I wonder why it is that the sun gives us warmth. I wonder why it is that the sun comes up every day. The first boys and girls could feel a cold breeze. They could feel the heat. And they would look up to the sky, just like you do, maybe at night and see all of those stars, and wonder and wonder. Huh. I wonder how those stars got there. I wonder if I could go there. How did they have? They had the same kinds of wondering ideas that you might. And those early boys and girls, and those early women and men, also asked the people whom they thought were wise, why are those stars there? Where do they come from? And people in different places in the world had different stories about the sun and the moon and the stars in the sky. And that's something that we share with all of those people. The ability to think, the ability to imagine, and the ability to wonder. but there's something else that makes human beings special. And that's that human beings also have love. And they have a heart that can feel love. And not just like the animals, the animals, the mammals anyway, and birds, most of them will have a feeling of wanting to protect their young. But with human beings, that feeling goes out way beyond the, the people that they know. We want everybody to be able to have good food to eat and nice clothes to wear and a house and a place to lay their heads at night. We want all human beings to have a good education and to have good experiences. Human beings have knowledge of and care about people who extend beyond their own family. Well, there are other things that make human beings different from plants and animals. See, each animal was given a very special, special kind of life that is unique to it. Each animal is especially suited to its life. Cows eat grass. Squirrels eat acorns. Birds, well, some of them eat seeds, some eat insects, some eat both. And that's pretty much what they eat. But human beings, why, we can eat just about anything, can't we? This morning, I had a bowl of hot cereal with some raisins sprinkled into it, and I had a cup of coffee. But you know, tomorrow, I might have a bagel and cream cheese, or maybe the next day, I might have some yogurt. Or the following day, well, I might have something that I had before. And all of you have different things that you can eat. But the animals, it's pretty much the same. Well, it's the same thing for the animals and where they live and how they live. Those birds that build a particular kind of nest, 
they build the same kind of nest each time. It's always the same. But we live in different kinds of places. Why? One person might live in a house. Somebody else lives in an apartment or a condominium. Some of you might have little tiny houses. Some of you might have very large houses. And if you look at your front doors, some of you might have a wooden door, some might have a metal door, some might have a glass door. And maybe your house is painted gray and yours is painted yellow. Maybe somebody has a pink house or a gray house. Some might have some flowers around the front door. Some might have no flowers. Some might have lawn. So human beings have a great deal of choice in their houses, in their food. We can do so many things that plants and animals aren't, else, uh, aren't able to. And there's another thing that makes human beings different. And that's that we have hands that we can do things with. I mean, already you've used your hands this morning. You got dressed. You used your hands to eat, eat breakfast. Maybe you picked up something that was on the floor this morning. You can use your hands in very creative ways. I know you all are going to be writing a lot later on today. These are all things that animals can't do. If you, if you didn't have hands, how could you write your stories and your projects and make the, the wonderful uh, charts and boards that go up around the school? You wouldn't be able to clean Steve's cage. You wouldn't be able to give Oscar crickets or give the Lizard of Oz a nice spray of water. Well, the story of human beings that began such a long time ago is about people just like us. It's a story that continues and includes us. I want you to remember those things that make human beings special. The love that we have in our minds And it means that we need to treat each other very carefully. We need to treat each and every person in a good way. Each individual person is unique and special and needs to be treated in a way that is really good and special. Well, the story of human beings began a long, long, long time ago. It's continuing, and it's a story that's going to keep continuing. And it's a story that includes all of the things that have happened from the time that human beings first came up until now. And in the next few weeks, I'm going to be telling a couple of more special stories. I'll be telling a story about the two big contributions, the two big discoveries that human beings made. Their written language and math, being able to count and add and subtract and to figure things out with numbers. But that is my story for today.